Hi, Scorpio. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your mid-September 2022 general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember that these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you want a more personal reading, you can book on my website, lucky 7 All right. Remember that these messages can resonate in the reverse as well. I might be explaining as if it's your energy. It could be somebody else's energy towards you that is pulling through. Um, we're going to do a general spread and then I'll get into the love spread. I'm reading for love in the main spread, but it could play out for you in another area of your life. All right. So let's see what's going on. What general messages do you have for the sign of Scorpio for mid um, I almost said August for mid September 2022 Scorpio. Mm. Some of you are concerned about an older woman. This could be you, um, or feminine, an older feminine energy. This could be like your mother, a mother figure. Okay. Can I tell you, I feel like some of you, um, the person that you're dealing with may need to mature or like grow up. I see you guys grieving something, like sad about something. I don't know. Um, some of you are moving, moving on from something that maybe was making you sad. If you have legal issues, I am seeing that um, change for the better. Yeah, you could be getting some sort of recognition. Some of you, I hate to say this, some of you could be dealing with like um, health problems or there could be like a family that's having a family member or somebody that's having like health problems. Some of you could be going to court over your child. Like, I don't know, child support, um, that type of thing. Tell me more about this. If that's the case, I feel like uh, it's going to work out for you for the better. All right. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What is coming up for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What is going on with Scorpio regarding love? You have the seven of cups in reverse. So, oh, and the empress. So for a lot of you, I feel like you're letting go of your options. Excuse me. <laughs> Some of you are investing. I was drinking something that was giving me the burps here. Um, some of you are investing into something, nurturing it, all right, that it has the potential for growth here. Tell me what the challenge is. The three of cups and the ace of cups. Wow. I feel like a lot of you, the challenge is to reconcile with somebody that you have a lot of love for or like to be happy with this person. It's almost as if I do see somebody trying to like hold on to you or you trying to hold on to them. They don't want to let go. I don't know how that... This is crazy. Let's see what happened in the recent past regarding love. The temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Somebody made a choice to like move on from something. Maybe it was happening too fast, too quickly. If things fell out of balance. But I feel like it was a good offer. But something here about this situation just it either didn't end well or it's still not over. There's still maybe some issues with it being closed out. But maybe you're not seeing this person as an option for some of you. I don't know. Let's see what's hidden. We'll find out more when I clarify. The Magician. The Knight of Swords. I do feel like there might be some drama or like, I feel like somebody here is like not talking to someone, ghosting them. 
somebody is grieving that because they wanted this to move forward, but they feel like, I don't know if this is you or them, but I think there's this feeling of like, not somebody feels hidden. And I feel like what you don't see is that you can manifest like the outcome that you want here. You have all the power to make what you want happen to have the outcome you want. What's on your mind is the tower. You're thinking about blowing something up. You know, you're thinking about not, I feel like a lot of you are just not taking action or somebody here is just not taking action towards you. It's almost like the perfect partner, so to speak, or someone that you deem is like the perfect partner in some capacity. But a lot of you are just like not wanting to be stuck when it comes to this situation. I feel like oh, what's on your mind really has a lot to do with you and yourself, like you thinking about you, all right? What's happening in the near future? You've got the Eight of Pentacles here, the Hierophant and the Star. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. I see there being a relationship in the near future where some of you, this is a new relationship. Some of you, this is a relationship that's offering like you're able to heal the relationship. I feel like you're going to be investing in this. Somebody definitely is trying to master this connection. What's in your hopes and fears? The Knight of Swords. Some of you are just afraid that of something moving too quickly and having regrets. You know, it's like you want to slow things down. All right. Some of you, I tell you, you got the fool there. Some of you, you're afraid of the drama that happens from heartbreak sometimes or that you may have been through. I feel like there's a lot of emotion, mutual emotion here, but it requires a lot of risk. You know, I feel like there's been a fear of love that the theme that's been going on in your readings for a while now, Scorpio. Um, what's the most likely outcome here? The sun card, Leo energy. So the most likely outcome for you the queen of swords. Some of you guys are going to be cutting somebody out, like not talking to them, trying to control your emotions. But I promise you that you're going to recognize like that's not the right thing to do or it just doesn't feel right. And I feel like you're going to end up having a conversation with this person, talking to them. I don't know. We'll see. Let's clarify. Why is the seven of cups reversed here for Scorpio? The will of fortune, the will of fortune, the magician, a lot of you have your guard up and you want to be alone or you're, you feel alone. Like you feel like you need to focus on yourself. Right. But I'm telling you, you may be dropping all the options and wanting things to change for yourself. I feel like somebody almost feels as though this is happening out of nowhere, you know, that, they didn't expect this to happen. Tell me why the temperance is here reversed. The death card. There you are showing up. So in the recent past, I don't know whether you did this to them or they did this to you, but somebody felt stabbed in the back, felt betrayed. There was an ending here. Things were out of balance. Somebody, um, there was trust issues, I feel like. Somebody tried to move forward very quickly and the other person wasn't ready for that. Yeah, somebody put a halt to that forward movement. Like, oh, hell no. Nope, I don't want this new beginning. I don't want to offer anything stable. I don't want to have you in the spotlight, you know? And someone here had let their guard down, thought this was the one, this was the relationship, and then ended up being really hurt by that is what I'm seeing. Why is the challenge of Three of Cups? The seven of swords reverse. The seven of pentacles. Somebody gave up. The challenge is to come back together and to like reunite with someone. But someone feels like either you gave up on them or they gave up on you. And they feel betrayed. Like I would have never did that to you. It's how you played me. Like I think they feel like it was super toxic. I feel like they waited for you to let them in and you just wouldn't let them in. Or this is how you feel about this person. And so the challenge, 
has a lot to do with, you know, you guys reuniting, but somebody feels super played and they, they don't want to deal with that. I feel like that's, that's where the guardedness comes in. Why is the magician here? What's hidden? The four of swords in reverse. Five of pentacles. I'm telling you, if you were the one who did this, Scorpio, if you did this to them, I promise you, this was somebody that you really were into. You didn't know how to deal with it for whatever reason. If they did this to you, some of you, I will say you just thought that they wanted you for your money. Like, I, I don't know why that keeps coming up for you. A lot of you just... I think things came crashing down. You didn't know what to, like there was a lot of confusion around this situation because some of you felt like this was too good to be true. But here's the thing. What you don't see is that you had the ability to manifest through your own action, through moving forward, like putting in the work. Tell me more about this. The two of wands. From, from actually like letting go of whatever is holding you back, you know, and keeping you held hostage and really allowing yourself to be vulnerable. I hate to say that you have, you have the power to really manifest a beautiful new opportunity here um, with this person, if that's what you wanted. But it's like somebody's got to be uh, got to allow themselves to be vulnerable. Why is the tower here? The eight of wands. A lot of you are thinking about like what's on your mind is I need to walk away. I don't want to deal with the drama. There's a lot of fear. You're afraid and that's okay. I feel like there's this energy of you guys still moving forward, but then there's a part of you still looking back, you know? Why is the eight of pentacles here? The lovers in reverse. The <laughs> four of pentacles. You're going to let somebody get away from you. You're disconnecting yourself despite however much energy was there between the two of you because I feel like you guys don't want the responsibility that comes with a relationship for some, some odd reason. Tell me more. The five of cups. You may end up regretting it though. You may regret not fighting for this. You may regret not offering this love. All right. There's, this is something that, you know... You could end up grieving this situation. And if it's not you, then then they're, they're the ones that's going to regret this, that they didn't really put in the effort, that they didn't try. This is going to be something that for years I see, like I feel like for years to come, is going to always be something that sort of haunts you to some degree. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The King of Swords in reverse. Wow. The Seven of Cups. Listen, there was something here. It could have been so like long-term, but somebody didn't know where to place their affection. And what I'm seeing mm -hmm. here is like, you're afraid that if you let your guard down, you take action to move forward, that you're going to regret it. But really, I don't think you will. I think you're going to regret it more if you don't invest in this connection. I feel like your hopes have a lot to do with this situation growing. Some of you just want to be in an open relationship with someone. Like you don't want anything serious. And I feel like a lot of that has a lot to do with the fact of like being afraid of being all in and like one foot or being afraid of being all in. All right. Let's see why the sun is here. You have the sun card with the page of cups in reverse. And that's the outcome chariot in reverse. The ace of swords. The Empress reverse. A lot of you, you don't have success with moving forward. Um, I think you're being very blunt with somebody and deciding that you want to cut them out. You don't want this connection to grow. And someone feels very alone because you're not telling them how you truly feel. And the truth is, is that I feel like you're letting this go out of fear fear of being stuck or fear that this is going to turn toxic. Look at that. You got the tower, the two of pentacles reverse, nine of swords and the devil. It's like, I feel like somebody is acting like they're happy, but look at that. They're hurt. 
they're hurt. And this is a conflict, an internal one. All right. I feel like a lot of you may not have known. Like, this is a situation where it's like, you may not have just known how to be happy in the moment and let, let yourself be happy with this person. Or that's how they were doing you. Like, you're dealing with somebody that has unhealed trauma, I feel like, and just doesn't know how to be happy in the right now. All right. They always look for something else or something extra. Like they have trust issues. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Yeah. Somebody's very detached here. It's like they only want something sexual. Some of you are detached from somebody you have a whole lot of passion for. Some of you have a short term like fling possibly at work or somebody you work with or you have like I don't know. I do feel like you want your freedom. You want your freedom to have options. And it's like you got to let go of trying to control this situation. I feel like this person adores you, whoever this is, or you feel that way about them. I do see you guys entertaining, uh, you know, dates, but not getting serious about them because there's something about this that you need to um, kind of work through is what I'm getting. What else can you tell? Oh, Scorpio, well, damn. Your cards are just flying out. Yeah, somebody sabotages in their sabotage here for sure. All right, sabotage is significant for this. I feel like there's another person involved or someone is just not willing to let go of other individuals, other people, or, you know, people being competitive over them, whoever this is. I see someone here healing from a heartbreak. Some of you, there, this person might be healing from certain addictions. But I see a sudden change, like something happens overnight almost, unexpectedly. Somebody's creating boundaries because they're focused on themselves. They're focused on what they want. I feel like they there is somebody here that feels charmed. Like they feel like they were wooed in some way. I see you interested in someone potentially talking to them, falling in love. But then it's like there's an ending to this. <laughs> there's an ending. Some of you, is there's some closure issues with this. I do feel like somebody here need some clarity. They miss you or you miss them. It may be clarity from the past, a past situation, past person. I don't know. Let's see what else. There's somebody that you ghosted or ghosted you. I feel like this person could be reaching out to you, maybe online, watching you online, wanting to talk to you. Somebody has unhealthy behavior. Like, they could be toxic. I don't know. It's like, I'm also getting somebody here is, um, they, they're toxic to themselves. I don't know if that's you or the person you're dealing with, but I feel like there is a relationship that's over and somebody feels embarrassed by it because they feel like they loved they loved you more than you love them or vice versa. Someone's in denial. They're trying to, they don't want to face the truth right now. Like they're being irrational. Maybe because there is like drugs or something involved in that. That's like keeping them in this irrational place. I don't know who that is, who that's for that specific. Um, but I feel like somebody is moving on. I'm also seeing somebody want revenge for feeling embarrassed. So if that's you, if that's them, just be aware. Yeah.
some of you have been struggling with like a karmic situation, possibly even a third party. What else can you tell Scorpio? I feel like someone really is like lonely. They're depressed without you or sad without you or this is you feeling this way. I feel like you have, there's somebody that's feeling played. They definitely feel played. There's definitely a relationship where someone's lost interest and is causing this lonely feeling. They feel like you threw away everything that you guys had a vibe with one another that you threw away, that you're not who they thought you were or vice versa. I still see this person watching you, stalking you because you left them and they feel rejected or this is you doing this with them. But this person needs some sort of validation from you. Yeah, it's like they're really struggling. They're annoyed by this setback. They're sad, they're depressed. They feel like this is an incomplete, incomplete connection. All right, let's get your advice. What advice, Spirit, do you have for Scorpio? Visualize your prosperity. You can have what you want, but you gotta see it, think it, and speak over it as if it's already in existence. You also have forgive and release here. So either you need to forgive somebody and let that go, the resentment or whatever, or they need to do this with you. Be honest. There is a need for honesty within this situation, whether this is you or them. I feel like this is causing family struggles. Some of you, I don't know, maybe this had to do with the person you have kids with or your own family members. Re-examine your priorities. What are you making a priority that's not really helpful in helping you to reach or attain your goals? A lot of you need to stop pretending, take off the mask, and allow yourself to be vulnerable, which I don't think you're ready for right now, all right? That is what I have for you, Scorpio. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos, all right? I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.